Thank you. Thank you. Oh gosh, I don't know if you guys have ever had one of those days or one of those mornings where you really have to like be gracious to yourself and be kind to yourself because I woke up this morning I felt cool, I felt alright but just extra tired and am I supposed to be chirpy every morning? an expectation that I have of myself that I need to do. Guys, it is Thursday today and I've got to get to work. I don't have anything doing today. In all honesty, I am just going to get to work. Um, I'm just going to get to work and get on with the day. I have a few meetings with my line manager um, I have a meeting with our team and I'm just going to get through the tasks that I have to do there's nothing much going on today a couple of birthdays I have to do birthday shout outs Adiola and Jess happy birthday happy 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 birthday company is August that's wild but yeah you can stalk me if you like but there's nothing exciting happening today. be a boring section of the vlog. I'm currently watching Sweet Fountain. Um, the worst thing you can do is if you're in a moment of fasting, watching people cook. I've got this on my head because my wig, my wig is to my left. And at the same time, I'm quite chilly, which is very weird because outside is warm. It's definitely warm. It's August 1st. It's very warm today. Um, but that's outside and my flat is interesting. I'm even tempted to put on the heating. Am I weird? <laughs> what do you guys do? Let me know in the comments what you guys do when you feel like you're low and just dissatisfied in certain, certain areas of your life. Like, if I'm real, um, this moment I'm literally holding on to God. Like, I imagine I'm holding on to the edge of his garment tight, and I'm just, as he's walking wherever he's going, I'm just holding on to him like this. Because if I let go, Kalas. I'm hoping that the coming days are going to pick up. Jesus, name and to anybody feeling this way, because I'm not even going into the depth of how I'm feeling. 
I don't want to say too much or over exert myself or over explain not even just over explain but I don't want to glorify something negatively and it's just a fleeting feeling so God is constant he's consistent he's faithful and I'm just gonna rest there whether or not I feel like it in my mind I'm resting there um but yeah guys it's not easy but hold on genuinely have a community do not isolate yourself for me it's hard because I work from home so I feel like I get bored very easily and I've been encouraged to go for walks and all of that stuff for me walks aren't fun by myself so it's about enjoying my own company when I'm not doing anything at all so resting is different because I've just like my mind is not on myself I'm just flat out tired or chilling and I'm watching something else I'm doing something else but if I'm out and I'm not shopping um yeah because when I'm out by myself it's with purpose I'm going shopping I'm going from A to B one destination to another but if I'm just going for a walk and it's in the morning which is quite an important time of the day for me now that I've changed my routine that's my prayer walk and I will just dedicate that time and if I don't do it in the morning then I'll go out in the evening and pray then oh yeah if I again it's not me spending time with myself it's me spending time with God like my focus is on talking to God but if it's a moment that you get to address yourself and address how you feel utilize that time by speaking to me as I speak to you and yeah it's fatigue I'm trying to figure out if it's Auntie Rose on the roof or if it's because I'm feeling low so now I'm just like my body my my um energy is that I trust God there's so many things going on in my mind but I trust God several days later So do I.
72 hours later. This is what's today? Thursday. And I'm out with Ad for my birthday brunch in And yeah, we're gonna eat, we're gonna talk, chill, we've already started talking, the conversations that we've had already, oh my gosh, like just talking about rebellion and obedience and how this season is so stretching and it being that it's so stretching, it's been so painful, it's been so challenging. And I'm the type of person that I welcome challenges, I like challenges, but when God has put you on a path of self-discovery, rediscovery, it can be so daunting, it can be so scary, and you really have to make the decision, make the choice, whether you feel ready or not to obey, you have to, because in this day and age, legit, we are living through what Revelation is chatting about. Like, um, children will be dishonorable to their parents and there will be wars and rumors of wars and all of these things that are happening those of us that love the Lord and you say you love the Lord but the scripture says if you love me you will obey my commandments and it's been very challenging to myself. Oh. hello Pepper on and love it, guys. Thank you, because I was trying to figure out the name. Here is our food. Oh, it's fine. It's uh, Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you. Can I get mayonnaise, please? Mayonnaise, yeah. This salad is different. Yeah, we're going to eat. So, I'll get back to chat and see people later. Thank you so much, girl. 
Um, wanted to do a quick unboxing, birthday unboxing. So I've got this gift from Selfridges and you don't know, but I'm very much a perfume fiend. This is, oh, Sense of Oman, Majan. It's Amber Oud. Um, and it's a hair mist, but I'm gonna be using this on my body. My body. It's perfect. Match your favorite perfume from Eden. And I think, do you know what's so beautiful about this? The season that I'm in, I'm definitely rediscovering different things about myself. If you are a child of God in this particular season in 2024, some of us, most of us, if not all of us, are going through this stripping and stretching and refurbishing of our character, our understanding, our learning things to relearn God. And it's been very painful. It's been very challenging. It's been very daunting. And one of the things that God highlighted to me this season where I've had to repent from rebellion and I thank God for his mercy because while you're still alive, you still have time to repent and turn away from the things that build a wedge between you and God. I find it funny, I'm just deep in now that this is Eden Sense. One of my favorite all time perfumes is from Ghislaine, Samsara. And I had known for some years after finding that perfume that that thing is named after a god small g lowercase g that is to do with wandering rebirth going back and forth back and forth circles and cycles when i found that out my flatmate sent me the research when i found that out i was stunned because i knew that the the name is of another god and i'm a child of god and yet i rebelliously let's not sugarcoat it, rebelliously continue to buy that perfume and say that this was my scent, it's my signature smell and blah, blah, blah. We're not, yeah, to cut long story short, we're not doing that anymore. And this is now going to be my new perfume. Okay? Eden. Back to where? Where, where I dwell with the Lord. There was, nothing is coincidental. That's my two unboxing for... A couple of my birthday gifts um i had a few more i had some cakes and other, and other things but just wanted to come and oh before i go and nap and watch a movie and spend time with god i wanted to show you guys what i got from my little outing my eyes feel like they're so red i've already put oh my gosh i'm so dehydrated i've actually greased my lips um what was i gonna say cannot even remember but yeah i was oh I, what i do remember is i was talking about rebellion and disobedience and things like that this is part of the part that was cut off in the previous video because i had to eat but guys if god has told you to do something and that being you need to cut something off you need to stop doing it it's for those of us that are multi-gifted and overthinkers and creatives our mind is our mind can be very chaotic sometimes but the simple decision to say no and turn away that is repentance and focus on god that is when you resist the devil and he flees i'm going to tell you that from now okay but yeah just want to give my little psa my little unboxing and i'll see you in the next the next few clips i'm so tired guys i'm really trying to enjoy my annual leave and just do nothing but do everything at the same time because next week <laughs> i don't even know what i don't know what i don't even know what tomorrow will bring do you know what i mean i haven't seen tomorrow before as my pastor would say so i'm gonna rest and um i'll see you guys later a few moments later hey good guys i was just looking at my teeth so i want to get my teeth whitened um there's this place that my cousin put me on and they're about sixty pounds, which is quite affordable. And I, I was thinking, hmm, gonna go and book. I need to go and book that. I really would like to do that. Meanwhile, I was just looking at my teeth, and I was thinking, don't be like me, guys. 
three, three years ago, I went on my teeth journey and this tooth in particular, I grew up sucking my thumb. I keep looking at the screen instead of the, the lens. Um, I used to suck my thumb and so that tooth was crooked and it was out this way while my other tooth was like this. And I said to myself, when I get older, I'm going to get braces. I flirted with the idea for years. And then I just thought in the pandemic, I said, I'm going to do it. Or just before the pandemic. And I went on Groupon, I found a deal, um, which was affordable. £240 for the install, upper and lower arch. Um, cut, long story short, the pandemic happened. They added an extra £5 to the... £60 per month visits which includes tightening and a new like new wire and tightening all I wanted to do was straighten that tooth on my upper arch and as my upper arch kept getting straightened my lower arch they kept noticing the gaps between my teeth but I didn't really care for that in the end it's been I didn't go to every tightening every month 65 pounds on top of every other financial responsibility that I have Not a likely feat So I skipped many a month if I was supposed to have 12 visits in a year I definitely had about three or four if that but my tooth was straightening So I just left it I left things as they were and eventually I got my bottom arch Because I said that my dentist said that I could have it um, Any fillings or anything that I needed in my bottom arch all good 2024 came February I got them taken out I was tired I wanted I just needed freedom in my mouth like it was too much and yeah I was happy with my teeth very straight yeah and I want to get them whitened but as you can see I had these guys here oh this one's closed this guy I used to have two and these two are slightly wonky I kind of want to get um this tooth was also chipped so I got bonding I can't remember what the name of the bonding was I got that done at my dentist and I want to get that same bonding on my the top of my bottom teeth because they are jagged now that they're kind of straight and kind of not I'm quite surprised at my overbite which when I was younger they wanted to give me braces before they wanted to take out teeth at the back of my mouth so that I didn't have an overbite when I had braces don't be like me stick with the process I'm I'm quite satisfied with my teeth but I know that eventually I'm gonna get aligners to like perfect what's happening in here that's just not for now but I thought wait a minute they're actually not that bad just don't be like me. If you're on a teeth straightening process journey, go all the way. If you can afford it, go all the way. Don't forfeit. Sometimes I make myself laugh, my gosh. Twins, we really got the same thing. <laughs> we look like we're on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, because they've been saying it differently. The per pergola. Pergola on the wall. Very curt. Very mindful. Very mindful. <laughs> very demure. Very demure. <laughs> yeah. Girl. This is very comfortable, guys. It's these, these sofas. Very cute. Yeah. Do you like this one? Yeah. Did you like the I did. I just want to come back. 
very cute. On the road again. Sing it with me, Shrek. I can't wait to get on the road again. It's a video. Hi, I don't want you to go. So sad. <laughs> so sad. I guess I have to go back downstairs to the shops and resume. Resume scheduled programming. I'm so upset. I wish I was going with them. I always missed. Oh my god. Yeah.